What is going on everybody? Nazdarachi coming back at you again today with another 5.9 featured video. We're gonna be covering a little bit more gaming news. And when I say news, take that with a heavy dose of speculation. I almost need like a disclaimer warning here that all of what I'm about to tell you is very highly alleged information. But as you can see over on my right, we have breaking news from, I think I saw this last night and into this morning, where according to a Reddit leak, essentially, along with some NVIDIA information, that we have a list of confirmed, again, allegedly confirmed titles based on NVIDIA. Actually, I don't even think the original people that, that posted this said nothing is actually confirmed, but it's just a list of potential games that will be coming out in one way or another to PC. And what I mean by that is they will be on NVIDIA's streaming service. So not 100% proper PC ports, but maybe people on PC will have the ability to play some of these games. Now the most important ones on the list are Sony exclusive titles, because as you guys may know, Microsoft, all their games are pretty much on PC anyways, like almost immediately and Nintendo Switch, well, they're just doing their thing over off to the side. There was no way that was gonna be included in the first place. So let's go into the article here and waste no time. Final Fantasy VII Remake and more PlayStation exclusives coming to PC according to NVIDIA leak. Again, you guys, this is all alleged information. The recent NVIDIA GeForce Now leak features a number of blockbuster PlayStation exclusives that are supposedly getting PC ports in the near future. That's a little bit misleading because they're not actually PC ports, but Final Fantasy VII kind of stands out as a little bit different because I was under the impression that that one was going to get released on PC anyways, but after a delay, but I may be wrong and that may not be the case, but I thought that that one would be coming one way or another at some point, and then, you know, the Sony's just gonna have the significant time advantage and the DLC will then come first on PlayStation, then you have to wait for that on PC as well. But again, I could be wrong, but we'll see. This article is a little bit different though. If an alleged leak from NVIDIA's GeForce Now servers are to be believed, a handful of new PlayStation exclusives could be coming to PC. There've been plenty of rumblings about Sony bringing some of its most noteworthy console exclusives to PC outlets like Steam, especially after it acquired PC port developer Nixus Software in July. This was a significant development in PlayStation's PC port strategy as Sony so far has only released ports of Horizon Zero Dawn and Days Gone on Steam. Hideo Kojima's PlayStation exclusive Death Stranding was also released on PC back in July 2020, but the port was published by 505 Games instead of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Most recently, it was announced that Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, a current gen remaster of Uncharted 4, and Uncharted The Lost Legacy is also being ported to PC through, though Iron Games will be handling development duties instead of Naughty Dog. So that's very interesting. It seems like uh, other developers or other related parties, you know, subdivisions of Sony or other companies that they maybe have a stake in are handling porting some of these games over to PC. Those are actually full on ports though. That has nothing to do with Nvidia and its streaming service. On Monday, Reddit user Last Grail posted a list of games allegedly set to receive PC ports in the future to the R Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit, which is a good indication that this is very highly speculative and could very well be a rumor. Whether it happens or not, we'll have to wait and see. Counted among them are several supposed PlayStation exclusive PC ports, or again, streaming access to Sony exclusive titles, not including Bloodborne, according to them, this list was first acquired from a blogger named Igor July, who claims to have cracked the NVIDIA GeForce Now's games database. Windows Central writer Jez Corden seems to support the leak on Twitter, as well as providing a translation of some of the code names for unannounced games. A list of the possible GeForce Now games mentioned in the leak can be seen below, but it should be added that Last Grail says more entries could be added as they are discovered. However, they do clarify that GeForce Now is a streaming platform, meaning these games may not necessarily be getting proper PC ports. 
you know, and again, you access the GeForce Now servers, you stream that content to your PC, but it's coming from somewhere else that, you know, may not actually be a PC. They might just have some PlayStations hooked up somewhere to provide this service to their customers. Or maybe they will get authentic ports. It's hard to believe, but maybe so. I wouldn't think PlayStation would ever let go of some of their heavy hitters. So this is a picture of the tweet here for those DMing, believing the NVIDIA GeForce leak is real. And we'll have some additional details on the code names for Xbox Game Studio shortly on WC Gaming Tweets. Code names don't mean definite projects, but it included Typhoon, which is contraband, and Holland, which is fable. I'm assuming those are like, just like movies in production. They'll name it something else to kind of throw off paparazzi and people investigating. I'm assuming it's the same thing they're doing with video games here, giving them pseudo names so that uh, people don't, you know, know what's about to come out. Games listed in the alleged NVIDIA GeForce leak now. So the Sony ones are obviously the most important because like Nintendo, they hold their stuff very close to heart. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Edition, Helldivers 2, Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo 7, Der Racine, God of War, Returnal, Demon's Souls, Ratchet and Clank, I'm assuming that's the newest one, Sackboy A Big Adventure, and Ghost of Tsushima. Out of all the games on this list, I think Ghost of Tsushima would be the one that I'm most excited about. Microsoft games, again, these ones are kind of irrelevant because Microsoft always has its games on PC through the Microsoft Store or Steam one way or the other. But you have Gears 6, Oxide, Project Holland, which is the Fable game, Project Typhoon, which is that contraband game, Project Woodstock, which is Forza, Untitled The Initiative game, Halo 5 Guardians, Avowed, Kalimba, oh, Avowed, I actually want to play that, Kalimba, Indus, and Gravity. Now, this is more potential PlayStation stuff, of course, the Square Enix here. Chrono Cross Remaster. That could be very interesting. I'm sure Truth would like that. Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. I'm sure Truth would love that. The Final Fantasy 7 and 9 remake. Final Fantasy 9 hasn't even really gotten a remake yet that I'm aware of, so that'd be new and interesting. Final Fantasy 16, which is the brand new Final Fantasy game. Tomb Raider Anniversary 2021. Another unannounced title by Square Enix and Kingdom Hearts 4, which also does not exist yet, as far as I'm aware. Capcom, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Street Fighter 6, Dragon's Dogma, and Monster Hunter 6. Those are all pretty big names right there. Take 2, GTA 3 Vice City, San Andreas Remasters, Bioshock RTX Remaster, and Bioshock 2022. That's new right there. EA, Mirror's Edge, RTX Remastered, another Untitled Respawn game, and Titanfall 3, which also doesn't exist yet. Bandai, Tekken 8, Human Fall Flat 2, The Talos Principle 2, Crisis 4, Earth Defense Force 6. That game is a meme, but it's kind of fun. Bayonetta 3, Judgment, Catherine Full Body, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Batman Arkham Knight, RTX Remaster. I just beat that. Not Well, actually, I haven't beaten this one yet, but I beat Arkham Asylum on Twitch. Valve, Half-Life 2 Remastered, Project FPS from Paradox, XCOM 3, Injustice 3, Destroy All Humans 3, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 HD, Mario plus Rabbids, the Death Stranding Director's Cut, Sniper Elite 5, and City Skylines 2. That's a lot of stuff that's not even out yet right there. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I guess this might be the next, because I know Mario and Rabbids is getting a sequel as well. Other games, Total War 9, Payday 3, Hangar 13 Unannounced, Fight for Middle Earth. I wonder if that's anything like Battle for Middle Earth. That's interesting. I love me some Lord of the Rings games. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Mortal Kombat Next Gen and Mortal Kombat 12. Moss, Space Punks, Hitman Pro, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Remastered, and Goat Simulator 2. That's a lot of heavy hitting names on there. Several other gaming companies series were named in the NVIDIA GeForce Now leak, including Xbox Game Studios and Square Enix. Some of the names featured in the leak are for titles that haven't been announced yet, such as Gears 6 and Kingdom Hearts 4. There was a few others in that list too. Microsoft already ports all of its first party games to PC at launch and has been bringing even console exclusives to PC thanks to its partnership with Steam 
and its Xbox Cloud Gaming Service is currently available in beta on Windows 10 supported systems. Yeah, I've actually seen like Windows 11 looks uh, kind of crazy too. It seems like it's integrated to be very similar to a console almost. I kind of don't like it at first glance. Of course, this NVIDIA GeForce leak has not been officially confirmed in any capacity. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is highly alleged information. So it should be regarded as a mere rumor and speculation until further notice. However, it does turn out to be true, at least even partially, then a strong lineup of PlayStation exclusives could be made available on the GeForce Now, something that's sure to add a lot more value to that subscription service. And unfortunately, we didn't see any mention of Spider-Man on there, or it did say God of War, but it didn't specify which one, but that would still be kind of neat. Hopefully, this stuff comes out to be true, because in this day and age, 2022 almost, you know, we uh, do not need to have our games exclusive to any one platform. I mean, I get that it gets a reason for you to, you know, people to want to market and retail in a certain direction, make more money, you know, identify your product outside of what the competitor offers. But at the same time, it'd be really nice to be able to just play these games on any hardware that you have available and just pay that company for, you know, the games that they have stake in or, Maybe they could all just kind of make some, you know, universal hardware. So I, I know it's ridiculous. It's basically a PC. That's the universal hardware. And consoles are evolving more and more in that direction, but they're just simplified PCs for the average consumer to not have to deal with a whole lot of complication. I understand all that. They also are much easier to socialize on, you know, not including Discord on computer. It's very easy to just play games with friends on console. So there are a lot of benefits, but I still think it would be very, very neat if PC got access to all the titles listed here, and then maybe even some more. It'd be great if Sony realized that they have some stake in the PC market and started coming over to the, uh, the uh, PC side. I would love that myself personally. Of course, let us know what you think down in the comments about this news. Do you think it's just mere rumor and speculation? Do you think it has any shade of being true? Do you not carry the way because you have a PC and a computer and an Xbox, so you can just play whatever, no matter what? We would love to hear your thoughts on this news down below. If you're new around here, as always, consider subscribing. We would love to grow this community and also to see you, the viewer, on each and every one of our upcoming videos. And with that being said, if you like the video, consider leaving a thumbs up on it. Maybe some more people will catch wind of it and we can get lucky, get a nice little YouTube algorithm. But until the next video, this is Nazdarachi. Peace out, have a good day, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.